Hi, I'm Lee Tushler with EE World and Design World. I'm here with Mark Jabia from Illinois Capacitor. And um, I have in my hand something called a conduction cooled capacitor. Mark, yeah. this doesn't look like a capacitor. It, uh -huh. Tell us a little bit about this form factor and what you use it for. All right, these type of capacitors are used in induction heating mostly. They form a, they're used to, to form a resonant tank circuit with the, uh, an inductor where you uh, melt metals in, in very quickly in a very short period of time. Uh, but they have to be cooled. That's why they're called conduction cooled. You need to run like a, a water cooling system over them because so, they are carrying a lot of current. These units can take hundreds of amps RMS through them. Hmm. Yeah, and they can be banked and just like before, like uh, any other cap, they can be banked or series connected to uh, meet the capacitance and voltage ratings that you're looking for. Do you do have to do anything special to the construction of the capacitor to make it uh, stand up to that kind of those kind of high currents? The the manufacturing of these is proprietary. You you can't just make it like a, a standard capacitor would be made. There are there are special connections and all that have to be done. Hmm. So, so I can't just slap a heat sink on an ordinary capacitor and come up with one of these, huh? Not that's going to be reliable. <laughs> <laughs> What's it's the capacity isn't. range in something like that? Uh, we go up to as high as 5 microfarads. Hmm. And um, how much current can it really give you? So they can take six to 800 amps RMS. Wow. Well, Mark, we got... Um, Two different form factors of capacitors yeah. here. Why don't you talk to us a little bit about what the difference is? Okay, this particular mo uh, type here was one of the original styles done. Uh, it's very heavy with metal and, uh, and lots of epoxy fill. We developed a few years later this style, which is just got metal plates that has the same performance at a drastically lower cost. So it's beneficial that way. And also has more connection points as compared to like this this version. Volume wise, they're about the same though. Uh, yeah, they would be about the same. Awesome. Well, Mark, that's uh, interesting technology. I'd say it's um, it's cool stuff, but it's a hot part. So thank you. For you that. thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.